it is now one year ago since I met you in Lucknow. For me, it was an experience I have never had before. I saw you for the first time in satsang and I was deeply touched and cried. I asked you, why am I crying? You laughed and have been holding me in your arms and I cried. You said to me, this is like a son coming back home after a long journey and re-recognizing his father again. Yes, this is how it looked. Never before a man has touched me so much inside of me without words. It was for me a very new dimension of experience. Just through your presence and through your love, Never before I came across a man like you, beloved Papaji, who shows me through his presence and through his being how natural, simple, practical, living enlightenment is. After I met you, Beloved Papaji, I felt for the first time in my life a deep longing to change my life by giving up my safe job and coming to you to Lucknow to take this wonderful opportunity to be with you. But in a way, I am also afraid of doing this step. There over two voices inside of me, the one which says, what happens to me when I give up this safe and well-paid job? Will I find such a work again? What about my beautiful house, my friends? Is it really my destination? to go to Lucknow for a longer time. But on the other hand, there is this deep longing which says, going to Papaji is the opportunity in one's life. There is nothing to lose because everything in life passes off. There is only one important question. Who really am I? Every time when this question arises, I try to become silent and to listen inside. I ask me, who is that person which asks the questions? But until now, I don't have a clear idea what I should do. That's why I have a deeply longing to ask you, what shall I do, which is my destination, to stay with you for a longer period, uh, staying in the West and visiting you as soon as possible. Sadan, who is Sadan? Is he here? Come here. So, my dear friend, house, wife, friends, relations, these are always available to everyone. Everybody has these. But going to satsang is a very rare 
opportunity that cannot be missed. That would come once in three billion years, you see. <laughs> After three billion years, you have decided to come for this <laughs> satsang. It's not available. You have passed through many species, you see, lower species of beings, but not as a human being. And most human beings are yet counted into species only. They are not human beings. Human being is one who has longing to be free from this cycle of suffering and misery and birth and death and repeated it. So you are here and there is a definite purpose why you came here. You are a young man, you could spend your time with other relations. But why did you come here? Your other friends didn't come. Your neighbors didn't come. Your parents didn't come. Why? You only picked up. So, lucky one is chosen for this purpose. It's not your choice. It's not your choice. You have been chosen to go to satsang. There is a definite purpose, perhaps. Now you are going to win it now. Don't think anything more, you see. Yeah. We are very few people here among six billion people tonight. Very few in such sense. Why so? All the rest are enjoying with relationships, only relationships. And one day when they will get a kick, everybody has to get a kick at the back one day when it will be too late to repent. So, before you repent and before you get this kick from the one who is looking to kick you even at the birth, and he is not going to leave you, one day he is going to have you. So better he lays hands on you, you better lay your hands on it, and you are going to do it in such and it cannot appear, you see. So you are very few lucky people in this planet who are here to attend satsang. So for you don't think, don't listen to your mind. Mind has deceived you for millions of years and now is your time to deceive her. <laughs> So you here, keep quiet. Don't make any effort, don't think. Then you will know the purpose of coming here. It will reveal itself and then you will be attracted to it. You see. And you will see such a beauty which you have been searching your life after life and not satisfy beauty, peace, love. Everybody wants this thing, therefore he enters into relationships, finally he gets a kick, goes to another one. There's no end. But here, one glimpse of your beloved, you will see. <laughs> well,
who can have this happiness in any relationship, any relationship of the world, who can have this? <laughs> You come from where? Germany. Germany. Hmm? Germany. Stuttgart. You keep quiet, the decision will itself come to simply follow it. 